Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux using the Rotor Morgan submod for Kaiser Redux. But right now we have, or at least I've just gone ahead and won the civil war between the German Empire and the German Revolutionary Government, in which now we must choose a victory focus. We've defeated the Imperial forces and are now the sole government in Germania. Or Germany, I guess. Great! And we'll have the first Congress of the German Unions. Victory proclaimed. The Revolutionary Central Command has proclaimed total victory over the Imperial forces and called for a quick restoration of order in Germany. Already having signed a treaty with France to give up all claims on Alsace-Lorraine in exchange for membership in the International. Meanwhile, rivalries and ideological incompatibilities are boiling up again, but also newly forged alliances have emerged inside the Revolution. The ideological leaders of the Revolution have already started to organize their own new political parties after the upcoming First German Congress. Ah, we know get also serene, huh? That's a big sadness, but the International has organized a foul with other German unions and worker organizations to hold a First Emergency Congress of German Unions, so we can lay the first stones of a new Germany. Great! And also I did take out the, uh, the B Belgians here because I took them out when I'm playing the German Union, and so they're kind of here already. In the fact of Wallonia. We now control the French-speaking province of Wallonia that once belonged to Belgium and Flanders of Wallonia. We must choose what to do with the new pieces of Belgium. A new piece of Belgium. Hmm. Liberate them? Reunite Belgium. I will only reunite them if they become a puppet, and they're not, so uh, I'm going to do that one. This just looks better. I'll be honest. This just looks better. Now, what we really could use as the rest of what was once at one point Belgium. Um, of course, we want that one. Anything else here before we move too far? Cavalry divisions? Ooh, those require some tanks. I don't like that. Uh, oh, look. What happened to our generals? Wait, wait seriously, what happened to my generals? Oh, okay, goodbye. Adolf Beiswanger. Well, so much for the generals. I remember having Goebbels here at one point, but I guess Goebbels has left the building. Alright, so hopefully we can choose some focuses soon. I don't remember what this was like. What is this? Corporate dictatorship. Okay. Uh, French national state declared war the Kingdom of Morocco. So be it. But hey, at least we're in the Third International. The SPD holds strong. Karl Liebknecht, who was already one of the lead leaders in the first socialist uprising in 1918, has called for the SPD to once again follow his guidance on his way for a better German future. The old god returns. <clears throat> and actually, let's go and duplicate this. Um, honestly, I'm just going to get rid of this. There's no point for us to use this one, so. There you go. Thank you. And switch you around. Uh, cavalry division, very good. Because that only requires all that stuff. Good. Only guns and horses. And we don't have horses as a quality here, or a thing we can use for that stuff. Or horses, you cannot produce horses crazily. Cool. And we'll get more naval XP, which would be very, very nice. And we get about 1.89 political power every day, because we can't do a focus. Which kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Republican victory in Brazil. Alright, very cool. Um, actually... Didn't Russia turn socialist? No, they're third-term Democrat. They're under Pietro Rangel. Okay. That's weird, because I think when I started this off, they did become socialist or something. But hey, champion of the masses. The FAL, the biggest worker union in Germany, and often marginalized by the imperial government for being the undisputed champion of the worker class, has called for a reorganization as a political party, which has caused several internal problems because of the political rivalries of high-ranking several members. Still one of the biggest. So really, we have the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The Mongolian Alliance. The Entente, of course, and... Well, America still exists for now. Alf Landon. You look like he's ready to go to a dinner. He's an economic reformer. Alright, well, that's kind of cool. And right now we're trying to build up a lot of factories, but... We have no factories. We have, uh... What is this one? Totally ruined economy. That's probably one of the worst debuffs I've ever seen in any of my campaigns. Wow. And we're syndicalists right now. Anarchist groups. Syndicalists. National Marxists. And Bolsheviks. I've done that route before, and that's an extremely fun route, but syndicalist de sure Marxismus. The leaders of the authoritarian sin, Nicholas Ernst Telman, and the Bolshevik civilian Peak, have agreed that their ideological beliefs have enough in common to found a united front against the liberals and the nationalists inside the revolution. They've called for all their followers to enlist in the newly founded syndicalist Marxist party, the SMEBD. If that will be enough to challenge the big ones remains questionable. We shall see. Oh, and let's go ahead and move on to early mobilization, because we can. And can we build anything? No, we can't. Man, totally ruined economy. That's just that's just so bad. We have enough equipment though. Um, are we training in divisions? Who? I mean, this this type of division was okay. We don't have that many divisions. We probably should go up to ten. Yeah, we're not doing so well right now. Let's get some more construction speed. Output. We're going to need a lot more output, obviously, but 
It'll be alright. It'll be alright for now. We don't have a lot of fuel left, do we? Um, Christian International Avant-Garde. Not bad. I don't think this campaign is going to last too long since we took out everyone else but the Black Sheep. And so, most instead, the revolution considered nationalism beyond patriotism to be a sickness. Only most, though. Not all of them, though. There's one man who managed to unify most of the nationalistic groups during the Civil War already behind his banner. That man is Josef Goebbels, a man from the Rhine, a man early sympathizer of Marxism, now having developed his own ideology called National Marxism, which is very far from what would most would call Marxism, instead calling for a partially nationalized social corporate economy to end class struggle by class cooperation. But he's also a man that could only be compared to the people like Valois, Diet, or Bucard in France due to its furious nationalism. A man with hatred for a lot of things, but a love for Germany unchallenged. It is announced today that he will be he will to take part in the Congress with his new party, the NMDVP. This gives his delegation the worst seats. Alright. We'll see. Cause after this. Um who do we have here? I do want oh Brown, huh? I love Krupp. But electronics is pretty good too. I think we'll go with probably Krupp. Five percent. Twenty percent military factory construction speed. Holy crap. Get Morocco now. And I think we'll be going with carriers for this campaign as well. Hmm. Well, that's not good. We're out of fuel. How much do we get every day? 120? Not so much, and all is prepared. We have prepared everything for the upcoming Congress. Shelter, food, meeting rooms, all of it. The Congress will take several days when it starts, and subjects of all kinds will come to the table. The future Germany will soon be decided. Oh, and I guess we'll do Poland next, because we don't like Poland, do we? It depends. Better start packing. CDU victory. The promise of democracy. Well... The first Congress of the German Unions. Thank you very much. Nice. Alright, so. Um, okay, we can't do another focus yet. That's okay. Give some time. The first Congress of the German Unions. The revolutionary government has called upon the first Congress of German Unions in which every union, party, or political organization with more than 20,000 members is allowed to participate. The leading candidates are the Smiphead, which <clears throat> uh, promotes a heavily Marxist influenced form of cynicalism, and the SPDR. Uh, the radicalized wing of the SPD, which calls for a socialist democracy. But there are other horses in the race as well. The Foul, which has lost a lot of influence thanks to the legal formation of leftist parties in Germany. And the NMDVP, which is led by Daddy Goebbels, is not ex and is, is not accepted by other parties for its call for ultra-nationalism, promotion of traditional values, and a call for a national rebirth. That Goebbels guy sounds like he knows what he's doing. But we're going to go with Rocket, because someone on my Discord server wanted me really to go with Foul. The Foul victory! Details, please. During the First National Congress of Unions, the Foul has emerged victorious. Who could have thought of such a thing? Nice. Um, Einigkeit Recht. What is that? Unity and Justice? Something like that, I think? Anti-discriminatory laws. Uh. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Uh, Union Industrialization Resource de Redistribution. Well, I like to get extra political power every day. Oh, more stability is really nice. Unity and Justice are the first two principles our society will be built upon. I like that. So, Einigkeit must be unity. Einigkeit. Einigkeit. Recht. Recht? I guess Recht means right. Justice. We are a light pink Germany. I don't think I've ever played <laughs> as a light pink Deutschland. Stand up in America. I see. Yeah, this is going to be really probably one-sided here. Tobias Wagner. Tobias. Well, Tobakhorn. Do you bark, my son? Or Papa. Or whatever. Um... Oh, wait. Why are we going Mass Assault? I went... I actually haven't done this one yet. Uh, I don't really want Mass Assault. I think I'm just... Mm, I think I'll just go Superior Firepower. Why not? Try and true. Why not? Uh, I did I was doing some ship stuff, too, here before. It is 37. I'm joining with my cat, Binky, who's sleeping on the floor right now. Standoff in America. Alright. Well, this looks like a mess. Hopefully we can send some guys to these guys eventually. Big Bill Haywood. Um, they must be... Oh, they're not worried yet. That's, that makes sense. Cool. So, after... Oh. Rudolf Rec Rocker. Not Rocker, but Rocker. Oh, what a Rocker. Oh, another division. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. Those Poles aren't going to beat themselves. Um, These are Panzer divisions, I guess. Yeah, I guess they are. They're not that great, though. They really don't have that much armor. Um, hmm. Let's see. Definitely see about that. But, after this one, let's go do direct... Union democracy. You lose political power, more resource efficiency gain, local manpower goes up, monthly population goes up, supply consumption goes down, consumer goods goes down, party popularity, stability, modifier goes up, more war support. It seems okay. Um, consumer goods factories goes way down. Love is love. Women in the country are allowed to become military pilots. Militias. You lose organization, huh? 
communal housing. Well, mm, I'm just thinking about what we can get. Best. Ooh, an extra research slot. Nice. The giant is sleep. We're good. Nice. Awesome. I guess we'll probably do this one. Industrial unionization. I want to get this extra research slot first. German industries will be officially nationalized and handed to the workers' unions to make the direct means of production ownership a reality. All right. America's killing itself. Right? How many can we send? Uno. Uh, I kind of don't mind sending cavalry, but... Hmm. Yeah, shoots. Division. There you go. I don't want to send Tobias with you. Ha, Shida. Very good. Alright, we do have some planes here too. Okay, maybe not that many planes. Okay, we really don't have any planes. Um, there you go. There you go. Uh, we have no extra spare fighters. Okay, then. Um, tactical bombers... Do we not have any fighters? I guess you guys are technically are fighters. Ah, screw it. We'll send you over. 29, huh? It's fine. Head on over, and you're going to probably end up dying over there. But that's okay. Uh, you guys go home. These subs suck. Well, that's alright, though. That's totally okay. And I guess we're technically still training stuff. Oh, we could probably import one thing, right? Oh, we have, like, no fuel. That's why. Okay. Yvonne. Who's... Western Command Center looks really cool. Oh, the CSA. Well. We're buying the fuel so we can use it to help out these guys. FOP request. Mind power. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. We'll send money guns. That's fine. Totally fine with us. So after this one, we're going to go ahead and read about resource redistribution. Resources will be nationalized and redistributed among the workers. Unions in a fair needed amount. More research efficiency gain. Thank you. Thank you very much. Early mobilization. We gotta keep building because we don't have a lot much here right now. So, Oh! Wait, look at that. We showed up. New Joyzy, huh? New Joyzy. Who actually wants to live in New Joyzy, man? Not me. Oh, that is... Wow. Look at these guys go. The motorized are leaving, but the American divisions are saying no. And they kind of are starving. Oh, don't leave Atlantic Sea. They'll get some supply if you do that. This guy, I mean, I don't know what the feds are giving their soldiers, but Jesus Christ. Dude, like, holy crap, you're, you're more active than me. Ah, I see. Um, anyone else that's really just kind of a leftist here? United Mexican States. Here, we'll get one from these guys. Nice. Hey, as long as we're winning. Nice. Oh, they're Trenton, huh? Uh, no, Tobias. Get another guy. He's he's also a harsh leader. Great. Great, 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 great. Philadelphia. Just don't lose Philadelphia and we'll be a golden. Hopefully you're going to be learning a lot here. Industrial unionization. Very nice. Resource redistribution. Because that research slot is going to be super handy for what we need here. Now, you're probably going to lose initially, but... Uh, yeah, just hold out for now, though. Just hold out. It'll be okay. Panama declares war on Costa Rica. The spot to get to be learning about that, please. Go ahead. Uh, very strong in the foud. Um, Union Trade Committee. Uh, I want to get rid of the uh, whole recovering economy, so. Union Congress. Oh, wait. This does both. You can know, just slot down here, too. Communal housing. Um, okay, new curriculum. Minority quotas. Council rule. Anarcho Marxism. University communes. Well, we need to get rid of recovering economy eventually. So we're already going down this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six to get that one done. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to get that one done. Und Freiheit. Oh! We leave the third Found the dad. Huh, so you can find the dad there, okay. But I guess up next, industrial democracy. Industrial unionization was the first step. Now we must democratize industrial unions. The workers will truly seize their means of production. We can build even faster. Faster, 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 someone would say. The very famous Frenchman would have said. Uh. Oh, look. What? What? The American Union State has the balls to navally invade and successfully invade Washington, D.C. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that one happen before. Uh, Alright, if you want to know about the outcome of the Spider Cape, please go ahead. But I thought we were opposed 
Uh, money economy. One of our athletes was trying to bribe the judges. Oh my god! Holy crap! The feds collapsed already! How? Oh my gosh! How? That's the fastest I've ever seen the federal government collapse! Holy crap! That's insane! That's actually really cool! Huey Long is not messing around! Looks like cheaters never prosper. Pretty much. Holy spankin' spankin' bad word Arenos. Also, like, every single campaign I do in Kaiser Redux, I never, ever, like, set up game rules. Like, I never do it. Like, I always forget to do it. Syndicalist Revolutions in Switzerland, very nice. And Industrial Democracy. Alright, not bad. Join the Belgrade. Can you just go to Baltimore? The Belgrade popped. Alright. Well, let's go do this up first. And this is looking nice. Looking pretty good. Light tanks. We got those light tanks. We got some of those too. That'd be very nice. And what can we not get from whom? CSA. <laughs> we can buy some from the Constitution of American Republic too, but nah. Um. Yeah, no. Oh well, I guess we'll buy it from like Romania or something. Oh, Iran, why not? Good lord, though. Oh wait, they're not at war. Oh, that's why they were so like gung ho about it. Wow. Hey, head on down here, guys. See if you can just kind of hang out here. Is supply really that bad? No, supply's not that bad at all, actually. All right, the 37 Dutch elections, and we need 150 for this. We can't go any higher to war economy, so that's fine, whatever. New railroads, new industrial electronics, autos and communes. I like those communes. Whoa, whoa, why is that happening so fast? Uh, new industrial electronics. We'll invest in new electronic technologies. What the? Jesus Christ, this is so fast. I mean, we could help out. I, I, I don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready. How fast is this campaign going to be over? Um, I mean, we're not... I I'd love to join, but we're literally not ready yet to join. Um, we got to help out the Spanish. Jesus Christ. Um, alright, well... There goes those guys. Makes sense, of course. Spanish three-way Spanish Civil War. Though there's not enough. Man, I prefer a six-way Spanish Civil War. An Qing clique recognizes Feng Qian. All right. Um, anything else happening around here? Are you seriously attacking here? Can you actually win? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, we could help out, but I want to help out these guys too. So. We can send two now. Here, you guys are horses. Panzers? How many spirit light tanks do we have? Oh, we got it. We have them. Hmm. Hmm. These guys would be better to send. Uh, Marines, heavy armor, don't care. Uh, uh, these are both the same, pretty much. Nope, don't care about that one either. Don't care about that one or that one. <coughs> Excuse me, being sorry. Alright, oh, actually send it low. Um, make you 14 combat with. There you go. These panzers, they're not panzers enough yet. There you go. Oh, uh, I probably won't even use that division. How, how much are we out now? That's not bad. Shnikes, man. Shnikes. All right. Cool. And how many planes can we send down there just for now? Uh, 33. Not bad. Not bad. That's a pretty good amount. Good. Oh, wait. You're Cass. You're not even fight. Oh, whatever. Good luck, guys. Do we have it? Should we have any fighters? Um. Yeah, we do, I guess. Technically, yeah. You guys need to go down. You guys hold. Can you guys not train? There you go, train. Go up to 100 for now. That's fine with me. Uh, disperse industry is nice. Uh, 37, 37, we're doing that stuff too. 
Uh, better carrier fighters, I guess, maybe. Pretty useful. Uh, Alright, 150 here. Let's grab crap, so we get a bonus to everything there. Thank you very much. I just don't want to get us encircled here. I just want to hold out. That's all I care about. Oh, and New Ind Electronics Industries. Followed up with, um, yeah, Autism, Autism Communes. Autism workers will be reorganized into communes with collective workshop and to tool ownership. Nice. Superior Firepower is also very good. And now they're us, which is delightful. Purdue and Ecuador. How are we doing down here? We doing okay? We can get one more here. Not bad. Nice. Oh, uh, who can't give me one of the goods? Ugh, Mexico. Nice. Good job, guys. We've actually shown up here. As is expected. Oh, well, good job. You won your first battle. Hey, you won your next battle, too. Good job. You weren't even in it, though. Alright. See what we can do down there. It seems like my cat Binky wants to leave the room, so my apologies about this real quick. You okay, big buddy? Yeah, big Bink. My apologies about that. Just, you know, Binky sometimes wants to leave the room. Get that Ama in there. Oh, I love the Ama. We're still looking really good on stuff. I, I really... With things going how it is right now, I, I'm not really sure if... How long this campaign will last. The Black Revolt happened. The Feds already collapsed. I mean... Like, holy crap. Huh. <sighs> War propaganda would be nice. I don't really need it, though. Um, I would like us to attack down here, but we don't have enough organization yet. Alright, alright. Alash Order has capitulated. Oh, and you know what? As long as they keep attacking me, I'm kind of okay with it. You know, let them do what they want to do. Let them do their worst. And then, Otters and Communes. Get five more civvies. Uh, I'm mean, gonna get that's the case. There you go. You should probably be easily able to win with how little organization they have. And circle that division to kill it off and have a good time. That's all that matters is killing off their divisions. Up next, let's go ahead and do new railroads. Fair and a nationwide resource distribution can only be guaranteed when we reach every corner of Germany for this purpose. We will build new railroads in the lesser developed regions. Oh, very good. Uh, no, you can hold it, actually. We'll be fine down there. We'll be fine. And give us more army XP. Oh, look. Becoming a hills fighter, a panzer leader, an infantry expert. All very good stuff. Uh, throw more... Uh, oh, lightning destroyers, but... now eh, this one will be fine first. Yeah. The third international going to war now is just... Seems a bit extremely odd to me, but whatever. Uh, can you guys actually win there? Yeah, you can. There you go. Nice. Hold for now. Hey, if they want to attack us. I mean, I'm just... I'm totally okay with that, guys. I'm totally okay with that. Up, oh, if you could win there, that'd be so great, but you're not going to be strong enough. Go here first. Alright, the German government exiles want to go to war as well. I mean, really, now, because we joined these guys, all we have to do is focus on these guys in the uh, east, so... Hopefully it won't be too bad. I could be wrong about that. You know what? Let's use signal companies for this campaign, if I remember correctly. Everyone's joining the Entente, which, you know, helps balance things out. Let's just be real. Let's go and help balance things out, so... Someone's got to help the CNT here. They're definitely not going to be able to help themselves out, so. Besides, we just got out of Civil War. We don't have the, uh, time or the energy to really go to war. Belgrade Pact. Cool, cool, cool. That's weird when the Belgrade Pact fires after the, basically, Second Velvet Krieg for the European countries and states. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to try to do this one. That seems suicidal. And we don't like suicide right now. Maybe later, but not right now. Up next, what we're going to do is this one. Agrarian communes. There will never be again big landowners that seize the profits of the land for themselves. The land will be unionized and handed to agrarian communes, of course. Now, from here on out. Why are... how? I guess without fighting these guys, they'll be okay, but... This is really unfair to the, you know, car and... I guess that Western Command Center group, but... Of course, they're gone now, but still... There you go. It's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't care. We have five research slots now, so it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. Does that mean the entire Ottoman Empire, or all, the entire Entente is going to be killing Bulgaria? That's so unfair to them. Then again, I'm glad we're not playing Bulgaria right now, so. Sucks to be Bulgarian.
You guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. 20% towards becoming Hell's Fighter. Uh, can you get an another general here or a field marshal? Kyle Long. Hey, Long. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll attack again, probably. And down here, I mean, these guys are pushing so well. Can you actually win here? Oh my gosh. Why are the reds so strong in Rotomogan? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's great to see, but still. Uh, how many guns do we have? 11,000. We need way more artillery. Um, I think I might just go with, uh, eventually, this. Just to make it a little bit thicker. We have the guns for it. We definitely won't have the artillery to throw. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, this is... This, this is really easy right now. Hmm. It is get a 10 more total infrastructure. That's nice. And there goes Africa. Goodbye, Africa. Hmm. Fuel refineries. Ah, that's what we'll do anyways. What else are we going to do there? Another division's good. Thank you. So, all right, let's go and refill this one. We should just do it like this then. There you go. I don't want to be bothered with it again, so... And uh, there you go. Mm, very nice. Mm, very good. We've got enough of this to do as well. What else are we going to do here? Uh, this stuff wouldn't be bad. Cool. That's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. Um... Hmm. I like the entrenchment. It's not bad, too. I like the artillery as well. That make, just makes more sense for us to do. Hans Speidel? We'll be making 40 combat eventually, so... Every time you say Hans Speidel, or I see that name, I'm thinking TNO. I am immediately thinking TNO. I have a TNO problem. I probably really do. But, you, tr Union Trade Committee. We will establish... <clears throat> oh, wait, we can't do this one. No, we can't do this one. Oh, that sucks. We cannot do the Union Trade Committee. Okay, so we went down the wrong one. God dang it. I thought we could go down that one. I should have read the requirements. Uh, already anyways, because we can't. We'll establish a trade union committee, which will solve problems among unions and in times needed to use its emergency powers to assume direct control of our all unions. But we'll have to go to direct union democracy. The unions will become fully democratized, after which the local power monopoly and management will be handled to the unions, directly decentralizing our state even more. Eh, yeah, listen, pee-pee, but that's alright. It's not that much pee, pee We still get more than one every day, single day, so that's okay with us. Nice. These guys will be racking up a massive body count right now. I guess come on down to Appalachia. Uh, we can get a few more planes too. Nice. Go to 41. There you go. Nice. And it's almost 38. Oh, go and grab that one too. Why not? Screw it. So many planes. We lost a few of our own. That's okay. No, oh, that sucks. I should have realized that we couldn't get down there. Oh my goodness. My fault. My fault. My fault. Anti-discriminatory laws. That looks really, really strong. So we'll go with that one next. In our society, we will have no more place for any form of bigotry. We will pass several anti-discriminatory laws that will enshrine the rights of all minorities. Love is love. Alright, Tobias. He's, he's learning a lot. Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. And the Reds have landed in Morocco. Very nice, very nice. Um, How, about, how strong are these guys? Oh, they have no fuel, which is good. These guys have a lot of fuel, and probably the same amount of manpower. Much bigger industrial base. Um, Britain has three quarters of a million. A good amount of fuel, 58 divisions. And Canada is 65 divisions max, and not that much manpower. Okay. World War One or World War Two? I mean. Spawned. Started. In the first episode here. I was not expecting that. I was expecting maybe near the end of it, but... Now? Now? Probably a really bad idea to do that, yeah. Um, can we go anywhere else, actually? How about down here? Tennessee. Southern Tennessee. Tennessee's a weird state. It's so flat. At least uh, geographically. On a map, it looks really flat. It's really mountainous, though, I think, in some areas, so. This is such a weird campaign already. <laughs> oh. Yeah, go right there, guys. Don't worry about that one over here. Hey, it's level 2 attack, though. Uh, and the tanks are doing... They're doing great. Uh, let's take a look at the manpower here, too. Look, he just feels like... 
The, you, you, I don't know what, but that hand, it just doesn't match his face. The tone of skin color is just like, it doesn't look like that's actually his hand. It's like someone else's hand. Can you imagine someone putting their hand on you like that? And it's like, here, I want to rub your chin. I, I get the weirdest thoughts when playing Holy 4, man. <laughs> Anyways, the CNT is doing okay on manpower. You guys, are, they're, they're roughly about all the same. The CNT is definitely lacking the most, probably, I'd say. Alright, Bulgaria's been beaten up. And then we'll do militias. Local militias will be formed to act as a peacekeeping force and an additional reserve army. 10% organization and max planning go down, but we get more command power, which is nice. Our supplies better, division attack on core territory plus 3%. I wouldn't say that's really a great trade-off. It's definitely a trade-off, but not that great. Go ahead and come over here and make these guys a little thicker, because we like them thick. Uh, cool. After that... Oh, a series of colors in defense. That's actually really cool. And once we get more, we'll throw in another motorized here, too. Can you guys actually win there, maybe? Yeah, probably. That's nice. That's actually really nice. Uh, how are we doing down here? With the American Union State not going to war with the... The CSA, it's kind of ridiculous. That's actually really ridiculous. Oh, no. Maybe, oh, maybe they are at war now. Maybe they are at war. Okay. No. PSA and CAR. That's it. That is... Wait, the yeah, that's the Union of Britain. The Union of Britain's helping out the CSA, which makes sense. Um, all right. Well, I guess we got more of this stuff to use. Chief of the Army, I really want to use. Oh, more ten percent more attack is so nice. Wait, plus supplies of consumption. Oof. Nothing here about. I'm gonna have Hans Spidel here. I like the attack, but defense organization. I mean, that's just so good. I mean, I usually choose that one. Cause it's just it's just so good it's just so good man it works whether you're on attack whether you're in defense whether you're at home or whether you're you know you're out partying you guys actually win there too maybe no you cannot okay don't worry about that then uh yeah that no no they're not doing so great around here keep defending for now guys love is love the long-running conservatism of the germany that has persisted up until the deposing of the kaiser has been offered some of the harshest punishments towards the homosexuals of germany Homosexual activity was met with harsh prison sentences and hard labor. Even in some cases, resulted in some of them being sent to mental institutions for electrothock therapy and, in the case of high-profile homosexuals, experimental lobotomy treatments. Fowders view the treatment of gays and lesbians in this manner as incredibly barbaric and backwards, which is why it came as a little surprise to any when they discriminalized homosexuality, which enacted legal protections towards them. Under the new laws, homosexuals be granted equal opportunities in all levels of government, employment, and military service with any institutional discrimination towards or hate crimes towards them being met with legal punishment. The most controversial aspect of these new laws is the protection of the very small transsexual community in Germany, which even some members of the file think is going a bit too far, as it might bold embolden the already inflamed reactionary resistance to these new laws. However, despite the challenges towards these new laws, many members of the file and the progressives of Germany insist that this is a step in the right direction for equality and progress. Militias. And minority quotas. Um, you lose even more division organization? Oh, that sucks. Anti-authoritarian education. You lose even more PP. All right. Community housing. I think we'll go with that one next. We, can, we don't have to lose everything yet. Those that have a lot of space in their apartments or houses must share them with those that would otherwise live on the streets. Your private property will no longer be fully private. You must share. You must share. Uh, maybe over here. You could probably actually help out. Uh, you'll probably when they're actually if you're helping out. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, how is America looking? Disunited. Just how we like it. Better radar? Uh, 39, new. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Yes, this one. Good. We're at full, huh? That is too full for me. So you guys go... Oh, two new carriers. Nice. It's fine. Do we not have carrier planes or anything like that? No, we got carrier planes here. No, we got carrier planes here. Uh, maybe throw one more on each one. That's fine with us for now. <laughs> We're winning there. Let's go back to Spain or Iberia. Hey, they're taking us again. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, the Germans are up in here too, but they're probably going to lose a lot of. Oh my gosh, so much equipment. The French national state militias are just so garbage, man. They're just so garbage. World Revolution has been rebuilt. Back on the world stage. Uh, the formation of the NVA. Okay, that's why we're not going to go to war yet. We got to go through all this stuff here. Und Freiheit. 
And how are you doing here? Level 2, nice! He's quite good in defense. Really becoming a health fighter, which is awesome to see. Alright, and the Jing Jiang clique has been defeated. Malicious is almost done. China's looking... Oh, there goes Beijing, I guess. Oh, Deutsch, Deutsch Ost Asia must be, like, crapping itself right now. Like, what do we do now? <laughs> Alright, community housing. Uh, which one do we want? <sighs> Minority quarters sound a little better, because you can do get more political power back, but... I don't want to lose any more organization. So, we'll do this one first. Anti-authoritarian education. Children should be free in how and what they want to learn. Creativity and individualism are more important than being formed into something that they don't want. Let the children decide, and let God sort it out. That's how that saying goes, right? <laughs> 54%. How are we doing in Tennessee? Oh, we did great! We did great! Come down to Huntsville. Hell. Nice. Um, 38. Gunboats. Here, better light guns. There you go. Have fun with those. Can you guys actually win here, too? No, no, they probably can't. You guys probably can't either, as much as a uh, militia. Uh, it's kind of okay. Uh, get some war propaganda, but we can kind of wait. We can keep filling these guys out. Yeah, I'll do anti-authoritarian education next. I like what we're doing here in Spain. We're just kind of hanging out, having a good time. I like that. Ooh, yes. Get a little bit more organization, a little more HP, all that good stuff, you know. What are we missing here? Well, we're missing a lot of infantry equipment now, which really suckerinos. The Mongol Empire rises from the grave. Let's pray to the god of the wind. Nice. Still building up a ton of civvies. It's 38, of course, I know, but still. Um, Alright, well, we could do this one, I guess, too. No, just let them kill, try to kill us. Um, that's fine with me. A tolerance society. That really helps out with the consumer goods. Yeah, uh, the Entente's not going to be doing... Oh, well, now you guys are suffering here, too. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Alright. I really don't think you can win here. But maybe here, actually. Yeah, it's over river, but these guys are not, so that's okay. Alright. Anti-authoritarian adjudication. Declaration of the Patagonian Workers' Front. And if we have to... Ah, oh, we that one. My records are university communes. I don't want to lose any more PP, but I don't want to lose any more organization. Honestly, like, that's the one thing I do not want to lose right now, so let's do that one. Alright, we got enough of this. Hmm. Well, we're using artillery anyways. Production cost goes way down. More soft attack and defense. Soft attack and breakthrough. Ooh, that's not bad. Soft attack. Well, let's do soft attack and defense. Yeah. So, we're going to read about university communes. We will abolish a classic university and replace it with learning communes for young people, where they can not only focus on their interests, but also grow up among other young people. Or youths. We lose some more support, but that's okay. That's okay. Are we actually losing here? Yes, no. Yes, and no. How are we doing here? We're doing okay? Have you guys been pushed back yet? Not too much, which is good to see. Um, go to the center here and actually go up to 50. One. Nice. This guy uh, should be very good for us. Very good. Guatemala is doing the Revolutionary Front. That is nice. Okay. And what is the war like for the Third International so far? Not great for the Entente. <laughs> we will all definitely have to deal with the, the Russians there, though. How are we doing? Are we doing okay? Got enough guns? Minus 50, 200 is not great, but whatever. Hey, they're still attacking us. Great. It's still only 38, too, so... Alright, even better. Um, more more refuel, I guess. Do you guys have... You are getting more planes, which is nice. Uh, are you up to 20? Yes, 20, 20. Yeah, but the carriers that we're making are really actually kind of garbage, so... Uh, at this point, let's go and make sure these guys are actually better. That's all we're making, literally just carriers. Uh, get some hangar space, because they already have... Should have some armor, eventually, yes. There you go. Now, those are pretty good. Well, we're making a kind of garbage right now. Bing, bong, boom, bing. And I forgot to get light tanks, light ships, but whatever. We'll get them in 1940. We've got enough screens for now. The screens are super easy to produce compared to capital ships, so. Not really worried about that. Who knows? Maybe we won't even make it in 1940 and we'll win the campaign next episode. But a new curriculum. When it comes to educating the children of Germany, it is a matter of the utmost importance. 
Good one about Earth Love is great ahead. Fowler understands this idea well, as education at an early age better prepares children for life as an adult, or where it can be used as a tool of manipulating the next generations. Whatever the case may be, unionist councils are running a coordinated effort to overhaul education in all areas, from the curriculum of the facilities, or to the curriculum of the facilities, although the exact specifics of the anarcho syndicalist curriculum may differ based on the area of Germany. There is a general agreement that children will be educated on the ideas of their society. The main tenets include emphasis on equity and cooperation among all peers, the encouragement of progressive ideals and experimentation, teaching students the inherent wrongs of the reactionary, capitalistic, and imperialistic Germanies of yore, and the inner workings of anarcho syndicalist system and the ideas that power it. Some families claim that the new curriculum is purely ideological and doesn't prepare the next generation for actual work. In some towns, there are notable absences of subjects, such as calculus and physics, while subjects revolving around socialist political theory and the arts get more predecence in schools and schooling. Faud has addressed these concerns by emphasizing how the anarcho syndicalist future must be secured within education first, before reactionaries poison the next generation. How is memorizing Marx and Krap uh, Kuropatkin pertain to becoming an engineer or factory worker? Cool. Thank you. And up next, well, I guess more resource extraction, because why not? Following that one, uh, I guess oh, we have to do minority quotas, so be it. We mustn't force minority quotas to fight bigotry and oppression of those that can fall behind in our society. The equity of all. Tobias. And also, at the time of this recording, I think I've read, like, on the Steam page. Also, if you want to check out the Roll to Morgan for yourself, I'll link it down in the first description. First description. First link in the description below. If you want to, please go ahead or check it out. I, mean, I totally recommend it, but I think at the time of recording, they're no longer updating the mod, so we'll see. I could be wrong about that. Hopefully, I am. But yeah, I, I like Roll to Morgan. Roll to Morgan's kind of a fun mod. Sub mod, uh, Kaiser Redux, so. Hmm. The Afghanistanis. I gotta play as a great Mongol Empire sometime, man. Look at him. Genghis Khan II. The spirit of Genghis. Cavalry attack goes up. Uh, the fate of China. Warrior society looks awesome. What is this? Apris Revolution in Peru. Brotherhood of Eurasia member. Mongolian Empire established. Scourge of the Steppes. I love that one. I like that one actually a lot. Buryat Immigration. Very nice. The 8th Jebsundamba Kutuk 2. And claims the greatness. Capital Gunnery is very nice. It is almost, oh, it's not even almost 39. It's not even close to being 39 yet. Uh, uh, sure, we'll do that one, because we can. Why not? Another carrier, sure. Go ahead, guys. Do what you need to. You guys go home. Can you actually guys go here? No. You can try to help out women right there, too. It's not winning too much, but eh, slowly maybe. University communes and minority quotas. Follow up with council rule. We will decriminalize, or not decriminalize, but decentralize power and economic control to local anarchist councils. Sounds like a pretty good thing, but I think that's where we're going to end here for today, my friends. This has been a very weird episode to begin a uh, new campaign in Walter Morgan, but hey, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will be able to go to war. And probably watch the Third International steam over a lot of enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.